Thank you for watching. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. Well, it's been four days now since two Saudi Daisy police officers were placed on paid leave pending the outcome of an ongoing court case. Grayson Gordon explains what has happened so far. The officers knew they would be retaliated against almost immediately. Earlier this week, Saudi Daisy officers Captain Eric Jenkins and Lieutenant Jake Elrod testified in court, saying a key witness in formal Hamilton County EMT Justin Whaley's trial, sentenced to nine years after killing James Brumlow, is not a credible witness. Sergeant Jeremy Wright was the center of an internal affairs investigation in the Saudi Daisy Police Department for providing different statements to both Jenkins and Elrod, and then admitted to Jenkins that he was untruthful in his statement to Elrod. They like to refer to as uh, untruthfulness being the uh, nail in the coffin of a law enforcement officer's career. Representing attorney Janie Varnell brought in by the Police Benevolent Association says hours after the two took the stand, they were called into Chief Billy Petty's office and put on a paid administrative leave. Both were told in, by Chief Petty that they were being put on leave with pay because of testimony that they gave at the hearing and that they would be put on leave until the conclusion of the court case, meaning Justin Whaley's case. This hearing was granted a continuance and there's a possibility of a new trial. Varnell says Jenkins and Elrod met with Saudi Daisy City Manager Burton Johnson the Friday before testifying and claimed Johnson told them he will have to see what kind of pressure he got after Tuesday. They stripped them of their badges, they stripped them of their guns, they told them to stay away from the department until they heard otherwise. Jenkins and Elrod met with Johnson after being told not to tell the Hamilton County District Attorney's Office about this internal affairs investigation in February. Once that went nowhere, they disclosed the information themselves to the DA in March. The DA immediately notified the defense team of Justin Whaley, prompting Tuesday's court appearance. Barnell says bigger departments like the Chattanooga Police Department have internal affairs of apartments inside their building, but that is not the same for places of Saudi Daisy's size. When you start to get into these smaller departments, it gets a little less formal. And so you'll start to see where um, the internal affairs department is sort of wrapped up into the overall investigation department. Varnell says she hopes federal agencies look into the Saudi Daisy Police Department following the handling of this situation. In the meantime, two officers who have served the community for roughly 20 years are left wondering whether or not they will have jobs. They feel like the department that they worked for has, and the city that they serve, the administration that they serve, has turned their back on them. And rightfully so. They should absolutely feel that way.